Hello and welcome to this Python tutorial series. We are studying Python list and in today's video we will see how to assess the element of the list. We will see in this video how to assess the element of the list using positive indexing, second using negative indexing, third using list slicing and in the last we will see one example wherein we will see how to assess the element of a sub list present in the main list. Let's start. You can see you ha here a list is created L7 which is having element A, B, C, D, E. If, you if I want to access the first element of the list, I write L7 0 because indexing of this list start from 0. If I want to access the second element of the list, I will write L7 1. It will give me the output as B. If I want to assess the third element, then I will write 2, means the index element minus 1. So the length of the list is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and indexing of the list is A is 0, B is 1, C is 2, D is 3 and E is 4. So last index will be length minus 1, L 5 minus 1 which is 4 it will give the output as E. Second method for accessing the element of the list wherein we are using slicing. So let's start with assessing all the elements of the list. If you have list L7 in front of it you give opening and closing square bracket and you write a colon it will start from 0th index and it will run till the last index and print the all the all the elements present in the list L7. If you run the cell, it has printed A, B, C, D, E, all the elements. If I want to start it from the first el uh, second element of the list, then I have to write it one year. So we are starting from B and we are running till the last index. Therefore, what will be printed at the output B, C, D, E. Click on the cell, run the cell. It started from B. If you want to start from C, then you have to write 2 because C is at index 0, 1, 2. If I want to start from 0th index, I can write it 0 here and I want to run it till second last index. What is the index of second last? 0, 1, 2, 3. I have to write 4 here. Why? Because it excludes the last value means it will run from start from 0 run till 3 and end means it will access the element a b c d 0 1 2 and 3 click on the cell run the cell you get a b c d if i want to run it till c then i have to write 3 here because index of c is 2 3 is excluded, we have to run till 2, therefore 0, 1, 2. Click on the cell, it will give the output ABC. This was about accessing the element of the list using list sli slicing. Now, we will assess the element of the list using negative index. So here a list of integer is created, method is using a list and range function. We have a range function with the start value as 0, stop value as 10, step size is 2, means it will create elements like 0, 2, 4, 8, excluding the last index 10, means it will create 4 elements like 0, 2, 4 and 8. Click on the cell, run the cell, you see the output that it creates 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 excluding 10. Now if I use minus 1 it will uh, access the last element of the list means 8. Click on the cell, run the cell, it access last element of the list. If I write minus 2 it will access second last element of the list. Minus 2 and it accessed second last element of the list. Similarly if I write minus 3 minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, it will access third last element of the list which is 4. Similarly, minus 4 it will give the output as 2 and minus 5 it will give the output as 
zero. You can use it in list slicing. What I am doing, I am starting from minus five, minus minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five means it will start with zero. And ending index is not specified means it will increment by one and it will uh, print the preceding elements. Therefore, it will print zero, two, four, six, eight. If you start it from minus four, minus four is the index for two. It will start from two. It has no ending index. Therefore, it will run till the last and print the values. What where it will be useful in why were they asked the question that print the value using negative indexing? When you give the second index, it is excluded. Means it runs for minus four. Next step is minus three, excluding minus two. Means second index is excluded, while the first index is included. Therefore, the output is two four. What happens if you give a value which is out of index? Then it will give a out of index error. If you have a single value and if you give out of bound index, it will give out of bound error. For example, I write minus seven. It gives out of index error. If I write seven, it will give out of index error. You can give indexing from zero, one, two, three, four, till four, zero till four. So if I write L eight of five, then it will give out of index error. Now the last example wherein we will understand how to access the, the sub list element from the main list element. Index of this sub list is zero, one, two, three, either three or minus one. Suppose I write L nine of three, which is the index of the sub list, and if I want the first element of the sub list, I will write zero. First, create the list, then access the first element of the sub list. It gives the output ten. If I don't give the sub list index, then it will print the complete sub list. If I in the first uh, sub list I want the second element, I will write three one. So it will go to zero one two three means it reached to ten twenty. And for accessing the second element, I have written an index one. Therefore, it will give the output as twenty. Click on the cell, run the cell, you get the output as twenty. It can be accessed by negative indexing also. L nine of minus one will, which is the last element, which will give you. Ten twenty, and from that, if you want to access twenty, then you have to write minus one, last element. If I want to access the first element, this is minus one, this is minus two. Therefore, I have to write minus two. It will give you the output as ten. That's it for today's video.